So uh, let's see what, what a prism like this does to uh, a library. So there's two orientations. You can see that, right? There's two orientations that I'm going to try. The first orientation is the orientation where the base of the prism, it's down, right? And it, it, uh, the top of the prism is narrower than the bottom. So if you do that, I don't know if I'm walking too much. I can't really tell if you can see anything. But maybe like that. So notice what uh, the prism is doing. So the light rays are bending down towards the base of the prism, right? Now I'm going to flip it over this way and see what happens. There. Now the light rays are being bent again towards the base of the prism. Okay. Now imagine that if I had two prisms, one on top of the other, so if I were to put Add more light rays over here, so you would have more light rays here coming in. Then you put one prism this way, and you put another one this way. And the light rays bent by this prism are going to be sent this way. And the light rays bent by this prism are going to be sent towards the base of the prism. So if I had two of these ones, I actually have, but they're too heavy. Um, then this is what you would see. The light rays coming in parallel, they're sort of sent, not exactly the same point, right? But they're sent, they, they intersect on the other side of the prism, right? Now once you have noticed that, it didn't take much for people to try to, to, to imagine that maybe if you change the shape of the prism, you might be able to get all of these light rays, all of the uh, parallel light rays coming in uh, to intersect at one point. So uh, is that possible? The answer is yes. All you have to change in the design of, the, of this prism is to make it a, the surface, to make it a curve. And a very easy curve that actually works is a circumference. If you cut this prism and you make sure that this surface is defined by a radius of curvature, right? So it's a section of a circumference. And you make sure that the other surface is also a section of a circumference. If the, uh, the prism that you make has that kind of shape, then that prism is going to be able to, uh, to have all the light rays yeah, it's not a good place. Intersecting at one point. One of my lasers, I don't know, seems to have died just now. I see something here, but I don't see it over there. Let me see if I can adjust here. Nope. Seems to be dead. Anyway, so uh, those light rays, if this, uh, the shape of the prism is, as you see, circle here, uh, circumference here and a circumference here. The, all the parallel light rays get focused at one point. Okay? That point has, it's called the focal point, and here, you put an F there to indicate where the focal point of that lens is. And because the light rays that are coming in parallel are focused at one point, they converge at one point, we call that a convergent lens. Another possibility would have been to um, put the prisms in a different configuration, which is head or the tip with the tip, like this. So if you send libraries that way into these two prisms, then this prism is going to deviate the libraries towards the base of that one. This prism is going to do the same thing. And one more time, if uh, you could change the shape of this, what would be the shape? 
to make sure that the light rays, when they go on the other side, to make sure that they diverge, but that if you continue the direction from which they're, uh, they're diverging, they hit one point. The answer is, one more time, all you need is a section of a circle. And that lens is not called converging, it's diverging, because of obvious reasons, the light is diverging. And looks like this. So notice the difference between a converging and a diverging lens. A converging lens has the middle section is thick, and it tapers down towards the edges, right? Thick in the middle, narrow at the two ends. For a diverging lens, think of the two prisms with the tip here and then the other one opposite to it. Uh, it's narrow in the middle, wide at the two ends, okay? So if you use one of these, The light rays that are coming in parallel, you see it better on the screen, on the board than on the screen. The light rays that are coming in parallel, they uh, diverge, right? And if you continue these lines, they will intersect and maybe some point over here. And this is what we call the focal length of that diverging lens. Now, diverging any lens has two focal points, okay? The other one is at the same distance than this one is from the lens, but on the other side. Here is another focal length. Focal point, sorry. Focal point. The reason is that because light is, uh, propagation of light is uh, reversible. If you send parallel light rays from this side, they're going to diverge on the other side and they will seem to be originated from this point. So if it works in one direction for a lens, it works in the, same, in the opposite direction. Okay, what is true for one direction is true for the other direction, for a single lens. All right? So for a diverging lens, that's, uh, that's what you have. This F is quoted with a number. And the distance between the focal point and the lens is called the focal length. It's that distance. And as I said, you have two of them, one on each side. Same for the converging lens, of course. That's the focal length. Notice that if the focal length was short, the light rays will be diverging very much on this side, right? If they open up a lot, then the focal point of a diverging lens will be close to the lens, will be a smaller number. So a, a, a lens that causes, a diverging lens that causes a huge uh, um, diversion of, of the light rays on the other side has a short focal length. A lens that causes a strong conver uh, convergence of the light rays, I'm having trouble with that word, strong convergence of the light rays as they go through has a shorter wavelength, uh, focal length. Okay, so the smaller the focal length, the stronger the lens is. Longer focal length means weaker. Okay, and just a piece of glass with no curvature has a focal length of infinity, right? 